Enoch Enoch was a prominent figure in the early generations of humanity and is best known for his unique relationship with God. Here are the key moments and details about Enoch. Enoch was born to Jared, who was a descendant of Adam and Eve. He was the seventh generation from Adam and lived during a time when people still had long lifespans. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 5, from verses 18 through 24. Jared lived 162 years, and begot Enoch. After he begot Enoch, Jared lived 800 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. Enoch lived 65 years, and begot Methuselah. After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God three hundred years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Enoch had several brothers and sisters, but the specific names and details about them are not mentioned in the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 18 says, that Enoch was the father of Irad. Irad was the father of Mehugel. Mehugel was the father of Methushel. Methushel was the father of Lamech. Enoch's significance lies in his righteousness and close communion with God. It is said that he walked with God and had a profound faith. The Bible says in Genesis 5 verses 22-24, after he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God three hundred years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Enoch's righteousness was in stark contrast to the widespread wickedness that prevailed during his time. People had become corrupt, and their thoughts and actions were evil. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in Genesis 6 verse 5 and 6, Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. But despite all that, Enoch's extraordinary relationship with God led to a unique outcome. At the age of 65, Enoch began to walk with God, and he continued to do so for the next 300 years. During his walk with God, Enoch experienced a transformative event. The book of Genesis 5 verse 24 states that, He was not, for God took him. This implies that Enoch did not experience death but was instead taken directly to be with God. Enoch's close bond with God and his mysterious departure made him a significant figure in biblical and Jewish traditions. He is considered a prophet and is mentioned in other ancient texts, such as the Book of Enoch. Enoch's son, Methuselah, also played a notable role in biblical chronology. Methuselah lived for 969 years, making him the longest-lived person mentioned in the Bible. His long life is significant because he died shortly before the Great Flood, which was a pivotal event in the book of Genesis. The story of Enoch serves as a reminder of the importance of righteousness and faith in a corrupt world. Enoch's example of walking with God and being taken to be with him without experiencing death is seen as a symbol of hope and divine favor. For the Bible says in Psalms 37 verse 28, for the Lord loves justice, and does not forsake his saints, they are preserved forever, but the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. While the story of Enoch in the book of Genesis is brief, his righteousness and unique relationship with God have made him an intriguing figure in biblical and religious traditions. We can derive some insights from Enoch and apply them to our lives as Christians. Just as the scripture says in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus says the Lord, 
stand in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where the good way is, and walk in it, then you will find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. What we can learn from the story of Enoch is. 1. Righteousness, Enoch is described as a righteous man who walked with God. His life teaches us the importance of striving for righteousness in our own lives, seeking to align our thoughts, actions, and character with God's standards. Like the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, from verses 5 to 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh, and strength to your bones. 2. Faith Enoch's close relationship with God was built on faith. Hebrews 11 verse 5 emphasizes that, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Enoch's example encourages us to cultivate a deep faith in God and to trust Him even when circumstances may be challenging. 3. Intimacy with God, like the Bible would say in Psalm 73 verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near to God, I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Enoch's unique experience of walking with God highlights the importance of cultivating a personal and intimate relationship with Him. Spending time in prayer, studying His Word, and seeking His presence are vital aspects of a vibrant Christian life. 4. Separation from the world Like the scripture enjoined in 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verses 14 to 18, where it says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Enoch's righteous life set him apart from the prevailing wickedness of his time. As Christians, we are called to live in the world but not conform to its values. Enoch's example challenges us to maintain our moral compass and uphold godly standards, even when they differ from societal norms. 5. Hope and Perseverance As the Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Enoch's translation to be with God without experiencing death serves as a reminder of the hope we have in Christ. It encourages us to persevere in our faith, knowing that God rewards those who diligently seek Him. 6. Role Model for Future Generations the Bible says in Philippians 3 verse 17, Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Enoch's story and character make him a positive role model for future generations. As Christians, we can strive to be examples of faith, righteousness, and godliness for others to emulate. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for your love and the grace to be alive and to learn what we have learned today from the life of your servant Enoch, who walked with you but was not because you took him, not allowing him to pass through the pains of death. Therefore, dear Lord, we ask of you in the name of Jesus Christ, to help us to walk with you like the host of saints that have gone ahead of us, so as to as well be rewarded even as you rewarded him in truthfulness to your word and prophecies that you will never forsake, leave, 
or abandon us if we put our trust in you, walk with you, and serve you. All these we pray for and ask of you, dearest Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We would like to hear from you about what you think about this wonderful story of Enoch. What do you think we missed out on, and what have you learned? Tell us in the description below. May our God richly bless you. We love you.